Got our best stock here for Bully TV. Stan right now has a, a Purge bunny mask on. He's getting in the shed. He has a sleeve on. Oh yeah, there he is right now. We're about to let out Tron. Let's see how he reacts. Some Texas Chainsaw Massacre type stuff. Here we go. Stan, now! He didn't, he didn't jump back. That's what I was hoping. He didn't jump back. He didn't see that one coming. Now, people, Sam walks us through the portents that the dog likes to see a person's eye. It wants to know that when it's chewing on you, that you feel the pain. And just like a woman, sometimes they want to know that they can hurt you. <laughs> we'll talk about that at another time. But <laughs> for the most part, so we, we said, Sam, jump in here real quick. Let's try these masks out again. Dogs can be reactive to things that they are uncomfortable with. If someone you don't know touches your shoulder, what is the first thing you do? You'll be like, man, get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Good boy, Tron. Good boy, Tron. Good boy, Tron. Now, mind you guys, praise your dog. I suck at it. I got to get better. We're going to make sure this is real clear here in a second, so stay tuned. Good boy, Tron. Good boy. Hey, boy, you bust out that thing too, boy. He did. That was <laughs> hey, good. Man. That joke bust about that, that joke. That was good, man. Uh, you boy slip it, man. Woo! Good boy, Tron. <laughs> Woo! Let me see this mask here. Let's make sure they get a good view of that. That's Chucky, no cheese. <laughs> now, as I said before, dogs want to see expressions. They want to know that they're doing a good job. Mind you, we've trained them in what? All this excitement. All this excitement, etc., etc. Tron did a pretty good job. I'm actually uh, pretty pleased, if I'm being honest, because I did. I actually expected him to like jump back first and then respond. Uh, put. <laughs> he's like, I want this one. He, he's he look. They smart now. They like. They know what they like. He's like, ah, this is a better toy. I want to chew on this one. Uh, I thought he was gonna jump back and then respond and get excited, but what I didn't see was him jump back. If anything, he was like, oh, what's happening? Boom. Let's see. What, let's see. What, and I put no leash on him for a reason. Tron's pretty respectful to say the least. We're going to attempt to do the same thing with ego again. Protective work means you got to put yourself in all kinds of scenarios and situations, the dog especially, to see how your dog responds, how it reacts, uh, is it actually improving? Because Stan was telling me that simply putting a hat on mm -hmm. at times, if a dog's only seeing you buzzed up, might keep it to be a little resistant. And from a training standpoint, you know when your dog's going hard and when it's just like going through the motions. And the first, hey, 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 man. Go ahead, finish it out, man. Tell them anything else that I mean. <laughs> yeah, so we're just saying you want to make sure you put your dog in as many situations because you don't want to find out that your dog's afraid of something when they actually need to do what Ooh. you've been doing the training with. Yeah. So mix it up on them. Loud noises, gunshots, um, whips, sticks, everything. You just want the dog to be comfortable in an uncomfortable situation because if you're getting robbed, if somebody's breaking in your house, that's not going to be a comfortable situation. They'll probably be masked up. You don't know. There you go, people. So look, at this moment in time, stay tuned. Take care of your dogs as always. Thank you guys for watching. Well, this is, look, we're gonna do some short light and direct to the point type stuff so we can just keep the stuff coming. Uh, the weather's a little bit better. We haven't had a big opportunity this summer to really explore where we could do with our, what we could do with our dogs, where to take them. Everything is dry. All my water spots are dry. Uh, the ground is cracked. We had to fill it in with some dirt. But even more importantly, the dogs don't wanna do anything in this type of weather. They're smart enough to know, my man, they like, it's too hot, bro. We got to go in. And there's been some days where we were just, we were a little worried. <laughs> a little worried, like, ah. We, we push them a little bit. We got to set them down. We got to put them up and let them just chill, unfortunately. So we're going to dial them in diet-wise. We're going to keep taking care of them. We're going to keep having fun. Right, people. About to do ego now. Stands in there. We know how he responded yesterday when he came out with me with the mask. He didn't flinch. Honestly, probably expecting the same thing. Here we go. All right, stand now. Again. I'm looking for a dog to back up, people. And again, this is just a work in progress, people. Look, we don't take protective work super serious. Stan's a protective guy. I just like to have fun with the dogs. The dogs enjoy this. Uh, and, uh, I enjoy seeing them have a good time. That's my thing. It's like the food I make. You want people to just to enjoy good food, good company, all that other stuff. I don't even like people like that. But I do enjoy cooking. Now, Stan, once again, killed it. We've got a professional actor over here. Hire this man. <laughs> Hire this man. You want a decoy or somebody who's willing to 
to, to, to try, this is what you want. This is what you want. Somebody who's gonna give a dog uh, a good experience. This is a good experience. And ego. Oh. Good boy, ego. Good boy, ego. <laughs> Thank you, my man. Let's cook it. Let's look at that. Let's look at Chucky No Cheese again. Ha <laughs> ha! There we go, people. Stay tuned. Take care of your dogs as always. Uh, thank you, my man. You ready? Now! Hold him! Hold him! Hold him! Hold him! Hold him! Just... That is, that so, is because it's fighting. So you see how she's trying to go to the end? It's very, very insecure behavior. That's why I took off the mask. <laughs> because I didn't feel like getting bit in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> and that right there, people, you gotta be uh, wise in terms of having the bite understanding so you don't get bitten standing and being bit about 34 <laughs> times. That's not an exaggeration. <laughs> I do mean that. So he's smart enough to know, whoa, let's not let's not make uh, this a more weird situation for the dog. Mm -hmm. Because she's already acting weird. Yep, but this is the kind of stuff you don't want to see because you say, okay, there's the problem. Uh, which means there's the opportunity. More work. Nothing to do. exists unless, meaning no business exists, nothing in the opportunity wise if there's not a problem. So your job as a human, as a business owner, as a pet parent, as a pet achiever, is to continue to solve as many problems as possible with your dogs and put them in situations we can learn from them. Mind you, we don't take bite work serious, but we do like to let our dogs have fun. And, um, in that, we get a chance to be a little bit better. Stay tuned, take care of your dogs, people. <laughs> ah, so, as you just saw, mind you people, we do a couple, quite a few versions of these things, and thank you guys for watching us sometimes on all platforms. Nala, um, super reactive, and realistically, she didn't even react. And that also is not a good thing. Yeah, it's a reaction. <laughs> yeah, the, the lack of reaction is a reaction in itself. And then when she did respond, it was reactive and in a defensive. So when a dog does like this and bites and nips, that's a defensive, be that's defensive behavior. But well, where does that defensive behavior come? I know for a fact, Nala's mother has got some English, bull got some bulldog back there somewhere. And you see one of those traits. Go ahead and put it up, boss. She just walk around and tear my, tear my thing up, girl. She's not, she's not super driven by it. She's like one of them, one of them ones that are like, oh, I'll do it, but I don't need to. So because of the bulldog, and Chris will tell you, Mastiffs, Connie kind of Corsos, they're not dogs who are giving what? Prey drive. And they are defensive, which means when they bite, they will bite a human or they bite you if they get uncomfortable. Nala has a look in her eyes where she always kind of like, if she's not familiar, she'll back up, take two steps. Ego and them will walk to you and they like, ah, oh, what's up? What's going on over here? Sniff you out and then you see Ego walk off. And, and in the degree, Tron's gotten better. Tron will come and see what's going on and he too will be like, ah, I'm good. So, I said, what do you do in these situations? Well, in this particular situation, we need to get her out, see more things, but get down by some trains, just make sure she is exposed to noises, sounds, and even more importantly, work her through a system of experiences. And then you put her in a comfortable situation so Jamarcus, her owner, would put the mask on and play bite pillow, build her confidence up so she's not worried about the mask or something that she can't see. Take your time. In this situation, if we're gonna come back, I put Jamarcus on the end of the leash, have a mask on, have something that she's gonna be successful with, and then she wins. And then you build up the level of intensity as she gets that confidence. There you go. Don't rush the process. Yeah, and, and know what to do, people. And mind you, I'll do another sit-down version of this where I'm sitting and making it make sense from point A to, to C. We'll stay with A to C, about three steps to be mindful of when going through processes like this and trying to get your dog interested and intrigued with bite work. So one of the clips you might see is Jamarcus with the mask on, playing with the bite pillow, giving her the commands just like he did with that good old uh, Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny. But he can't drop no eggs off. <laughs> so, take care of your dogs, people. As always, T-Fit, Fit Bully TV.